Herbert Wigwe was Deputy Managing Director at Assets Bank from 2002 and became its Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer in 2014. Previously, he was an Executive Director in charge of Institutional Banking at Guaranteed Trust Bank and before then, a management consultant for Coopers and Lai Brand before qualifying as a chartered accountant. Dr. Wigwe also served as the chairman of Assets Bank Ghana, Assets Investment and Securities Limited, Central Securities and Clearing System, and is the current chairman of Assets Bank Limited and Unified Payment Services Limited. He is a board member of Nigerian Mortgage Refinance Company and a member of the Advisory Board for Friends Africa. Dr. Wigwe graduated from the University of Nigeria in Suka and received a BSc degree in Accountancy, a Master's degree in Banking and Finance from the University College of North Wales, a Master of Science degree in Financial Economics from the University of London and is an alumnus of the Harvard Business School Executive Management Program. He is a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, a fellow of the Institute of Credit Administration, and an honorary member of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Herbert Wigwe was married to Chizoba Wigwe, a lawyer and entrepreneur. They had four children, Cheesy, Tochi, Anna, and David. He was a devoted husband and father who cherished his family and spent quality time with them. He was also a man of faith who believed in God and lived by Christian values. He was a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God where he served as a pastor and a mentor to many. He was an avid reader who enjoyed books on history, biographics, leadership and spiritualities. He was also a sport enthusiast who loved football, golf and tennis. He was a fan of Arsenal FC and supported Nigerian national team. He had an active social media presence where he shared his insights, opinions and experiences with his followers. He had over 300,000 followers on Instagram where he posted pictures and videos of his work, family, travels, and hobbies. Albert Wigwe has amassed a considerable fortune through his banking and investment activities. While his official net worth is not publicly disclosed, it is estimated that he's worth around $65.2 million. This makes him one of the richest bankers in Africa and a respected figure in the financial sector. One of the most remarkable achievements of Wigwe was the creation of Wigwe University, a groundbreaking institution of higher learning in Nigeria and West Africa. With a $500 million investment, the university set out to transform the landscape of education in the region offering cutting-edge programs in management, science, engineering, and the arts. However, the chief executive of Nigeria's largest bank, his wife and his son, were among six people killed in a Friday night helicopter crash in a remote part of the Mojev Desert along the california Nevada border, according to officials. The SS Bank CEO, Albert Wigwe, his wife, Dory Chizaba, and son, Cheesy, died in the crash along with the former group chairman of Nigerian Stock Exchange, Abimola Ogumbajo. The helicopter at the center of the deadly crash departed about 8.45 p.m. from Palm Spring Airport in California, a route to Boulder City, Nevada about 26 miles southeast of Las Vegas, which on Sunday is hosting 
the year Super Bowl. The aircraft was reportedly an Airbus Helicopters EC-130. According to the San Bernardino County Sheriff Department, authorities were alerted of the crash at about 10.10 p.m. on Friday night. All six people on board, including two helicopters pilots, were reported dead, but their identities were not immediately released. The remains of former Chief Executive Officer of Assets Holdings, Dr. Albert Wigwe, his wife, Doreen Chizoba, and his son, Cheesy, have been buried in the private tomb inside the Wigwe University, which he built in Isiopo. Ikware, local government area of River State. The bodies were moved from the Redeemed Christian Church of God after a funeral service to the private mausoleum and buried around 2.45 p.m. on the 9th of March 2024. At the graveside, tears flowed freely as the bodies were lowered into the grave. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground.